is up, my dudes, and the one girl who thought Live Wire was the brand new boy band you had to check out. This is Spikes, Beards, and Brews. Let's kick that intro. Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we are heading back out to Seacoast Harley Davidson. Uh, they've been doing a lot of test rides with the uh, Live Wire, and I gotta tell you, I wanna try it out, feel it for myself see how it rolls you know all that cool stuff there's uh there's definitely a few people around who've been riding them uh the two i could think of right off the top of my head would be queen sit and flip nah but even though i fully trust like what they're saying and what they're talking about in their full reviews because they they've had the bikes for more than just like three and a half minutes uh, you know, I want to I wanna ride it for myself. I've seen it quite a few times. I've checked it out. Honestly, I'm not blown away by it, but that doesn't mean that I can't be serious impressed by it. Uh, I'm not closed-minded on the subject. One of the other things we're doing today is I've tried something daring. I have moved my microphone in my helmet. Uh, operation Don't Sound Like I Have Emphysema is in effect. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, I moved it up and away from my face. It's uh, it's a little bit higher in my visor now, so I'm hoping that it picks up okay. And this isn't all a bunch of garbled nonsense. Uh, I guess we'll find out a little bit later on. Before I go too crazy, though, remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share this video. Let's move it around. Thanks to you guys, I now have over 50 followers. Seriously, it's like paparazzi level. I like I almost have like stretch limos waiting to come for me. Oh, hey, Street Glide. We are very close <laughs> to Seacoast Harley, so I guess we can start playing the, the Count the Street Glide game because <laughs> uh, we're probably going to see a lot of them. I've already seen a ton of them. Hey, look, two more. <laughs> so, yeah, just to, you know, pass the time. <laughs> let's uh let's count the street glides while we're doing that and while we're also stuck in stupid amounts of like traffic and red lights and stupid things like that um i want to i want to take this moment to do a few shout outs um first and foremost i want to give a big shout out to respawn rider i will throw a link to his channel down below uh he actually gave me a shout out a little while ago not in in youtube time it's been quite a while in real world time it hasn't been too too long uh, i've just i've been trying to stack my videos so i'm up and ready for uh when the snow falls so yeah i've i've honestly uh missed giving him a shout out on uh, maybe the last two videos that i did record but I wanted to make sure I did it this time around. Uh, he is down in the Jersey, Pennsylvania area, I believe. I'll, uh, I don't know. <laughs> he, he, has, uh, he has a riding channel. He's got uh, an Iron 883 that he cruises around on. And uh, he's actually going to be starting up a second channel for his video gaming. So if you're into video gaming, definitely, you know, check that out. Uh, until then, you should check out the link below to his main channel and make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification over there as well and tell him I sent you. While we're on the topic of shoutouts, uh, I want to give a shout out to a couple other, like, you know, motor vloggers that I follow, I pay attention to, I like and appreciate. Uh, I've already kind of like gave away two of the bigger ones, and that would be uh, Queen Sit and. Uh, Flipna, I'll make sure that both their links are down below as well. Uh, with Flipna, I actually feel a little bad. I know that I kind of, like, I sign off with, uh, you know, see you on the flip side. It's it's kind of altered a few times, but I've tried to settle on see you on the flip side. That's because when I was trying to figure out my sign off in the beginning, uh, I went through a lot of different sign offs, and none of them felt right. 
thankfully, uh, half the time my mic didn't work. So I don't even think you see any of those videos. I don't even think, I'd have to go back and look at my introduction. Oh, street light. <laughs> and uh, see, but yeah, I, uh, I know he also signs off with that and uh, he's probably, he's, he's way more entitled to it than I am. <laughs> I think he's been doing it longer, but so, sorry Flip. <laughs> um, I also, out of that crew as well, uh, Shailisi has just popped up. She's a newer one and she's, she's quite entertaining. I don't really need to try and push her channel too much. She, she blew up like instantly because she is part of the Shade Tree Army and Mr. Shade Tree Surgeon himself. Uh, another guy I follow, so that's cool. Um, there's also Moto John, who I discovered through Quiet Man, so I'll throw links for them down there as well. And uh, yeah, I'd say that's that's a pretty good list for right now. I'm sure I'll have another list of shoutouts another time, but we are at Seacoast Harley, so let's do that. Oh, the, the actual reason we're coming here is so I can pick up my uh, axle covers for the uh, front of my bike. But I figured while I was here, why not try and get up on some live wire action? So, they do have one out there. They give you like a free poster if you test ride the thing. I, I don't know what that's about, but whatever. <laughs> I'll be back, guys, and then we'll check it out from there. What's up? This is Rick D here over at Seacoast Harley Davidson up in Hampton, New Hampshire. I am with my man Ben. Now I told Ben he can punch me in the face if he doesn't have a good time. So if I don't come back or I have a black eye, he didn't have a good time. <laughs> All kidding aside, this bike here goes 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. Every single person who gets on this bike laughs. Every time. So if he doesn't laugh, we're going to find that out as well. Why do they laugh? The G-force on this thing is like nothing you've ever experienced on any motorcycle or anything. It's the experience that you get coming down on a roller coaster. It's that first initial feeling. With that being said, let's get going. Take that camera and look at the screen right there. <laughs> Top right corner, you'll see an econo, a little leaf. That means it's an econo. We're in kid mode first. <laughs> I'm going to take that in kid mode right now, which is still super fast. We're going to come back at the beach, and we're going to find out how he likes it. Where's the beach, bro? Filming that right now? We still on? Yep. All right, what we're going to do now, we're going to take a little loop around the parking lot because I want you to get a basic feel for it. No clutch, no gears. The second you touch this, you're going to be gone. Now, we want to hit start because it says put start on. How do you know it's on? Because it's green there and green there and you got a zero, so you're ready to go. You get 95%. We're on econo mode. Ben, what do you say, brother? Uh, I say I'm laughing one way or another because it's either fun or I get to punch someone. <laughs> Oh god, where are the foot pegs? This is the weirdest seating position, like, period. My feet are definitely behind me. It's it's almost like a rear set sort of deal. Yeah, rear set, I'm leaned forward. Oops. We're still live here, Ben? We're still live. Alright, Ben, so here's the deal. <laughs> I'm going to go a little bit in front of you. Not that I would ever promote speeding, but I want you to see how this feels. So if I go in front of you, you'll kind of get a good feel of what's going to happen. When we go out of here, we're going to take a right. I'd say probably about 200 yards, we're going to take another right, and then we're going to go to stop sign. I'll look at you, hopefully you'll have a smirk by then. You ready? <laughs> Sounds good. It's so weird to put my feet behind me. I'm used to like mid or forward controls. So we're in child mode, <laughs> which, whatever. <laughs> now we're in don't get run over by the truck mode.
Yeah, man, even in kid mode, this thing moves. <laughs> All right, don't tell him I laughed. I still kind of want to punch him in the face. <laughs> the, uh, in case you missed it, the offer is I get to punch him in the face if I didn't have fun. So all I have to do is look really frowny when I pull up on him. <laughs> nah, I won't do that. I've smiled. I've smiled. I won't punch him. <laughs> no. Ben's going to lie. I heard him laugh already. So I don't want to hear it. <laughs> so slow behind this truck. We're going to get to the beach. And once we get to the beach, I'm going to put him in hyperspace. What's that mean? Sport mode. It's three times as fast as what we're doing right now. So if you think this is fast, just wait. Here we go, guys. And for those of you who are watching his YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> this dude's better at advertising my channel than I am, man. Over the bridge, oh boy. I keep wanting to hit my clutch. I keep wanting to hit my clutch. I keep wanting to shift. And uh, it's just not happening. He could definitely hear me laugh because there is no engine noise. <laughs> so, well, whatever. <laughs> he lives a, another punch-free day. <laughs> this is, uh, it's definitely fun. Um, I would say one of the drawbacks is because of my height and stuff, the way I'm leaned forward. Oh. Darren, the way I'm leaning forward, I'm putting a lot of weight on my wrists. Except when I'm accelerating here. <laughs> then, then it's not really happening. It's actually, it's mostly when I'm using the brakes that uh, you're feeling that. I, I will say though, economy mode, even in economy mode, this thing rips. Uh, I, I can't even lie about it. This, I mean, this, this is definitely fun. Would I pay... $30,000 for this. Probably not. Actually, definitely not. It is a fun ride for sure. But with the limitation on the mileage you can get and stuff like that, uh, it, it's still, uh, it's not conducive for the type of riding I do. And uh, I mean, I'm not doing like these huge, huge like multi-week trips and stuff but I do go out for like a full day of riding and uh, this this bike just uh, it doesn't have that ability unless you're bringing an extension cord with you and uh, a lot of places don't mind you plugging in and uh, using their power to charge up even then though you're, you're down for about an hour at a time to to get significant use Let's see what he says so Ben here's the deal <laughs> probably see that my light goes on but I'm not putting on my brakes it has a regenerating brake that happens on its own when you let off the throttle the brake kicks on especially in this mode and I'll explain more later guys make sure you subscribe <laughs> come to my YouTube channel too Rick D. Sanctus D-E-S-A-N-C-T-S make sure you like it subscribe and share <laughs> all right you heard the man make sure you subscribe to his channel after uh after this I'm gonna hunt him down and I'll make sure I subscribe as well uh, I, you know what? I'm going to throw him in the links down below uh, along with all the other shout outs I did. So this all kind of worked out pretty well. <laughs> uh, Rick is, he'll probably end up watching this later. <laughs> so just straight up, Rick is doing a fantastic job, like really showing me this bike and taking a ride with it. It's, it's fun. It really is fun. I, I honestly would... I would rent this and like you know take it out for like a weekend this this would be a fun little like bomb around bike for the weekend the the suspension feels really cool uh, I don't know if you can see it on his there we're following him there's a mono shop Ooh. <laughs> oh look more street lights. <laughs> um, that's the. So I don't know if you heard him there, but he was just saying it's cool because without the engine noise, you can just kind of go side by side and talk to your buddy. Even through my full face, I could hear that. So that was cool. Uh, these mirrors are all but useless. Uh, <laughs> they're just uh, they're too narrow. We definitely we have a Ducati behind us. Pretty sure we could smoke that Ducati.
So I used to ride sport bikes. If you actually look at my Instagram and all that, uh, I did a throwback on my Ninja uh, last Thursday, uh, a couple Thursdays ago. Yeah, I keep forgetting. YouTube time versus Instagram time. So uh, it, I'm not, I'm not a stranger to them, but it's definitely, it's been a little while. I'm not gonna lie. So it's, it is a definitely a little, it's a little weird to have the rear set thing, but it's, uh, it's coming back to me. It's weird not to hit a clutch. It's weird not to shift. I mean, I'm just, I'm flicking my wrist over here and I'm going. That's, uh, that's what I'm doing. And uh, it's fun. It really is. Going up to the beach, brah. <laughs> Yeah, for, for all the things that, you know, I do, I do beat on Harley, um, you know, go back and look at my I Still Love You Harley uh, video, and even in there, I say that, you know, they are taking chances, they are trying to be innovative, they are doing, like, some cool things, and high five to them for doing it, and this, this is one of them. A little expensive now, but you never know what's, what's around the corner. <laughs> I, I already told him you're safe. Right. <laughs> ah, we get some beach view too. Look at that. Oh, close the lid. Hey, there you go. I said, uh, <laughs> what's around the corner? And then he was like, oh, I'll tell you about some stuff around the corner. <laughs> that totally was not rehearsed, I promise. Yeah, some good waves going. Still behind us, Ducati? Uh, no, something else is. since we're doing a tutorial here today. So far, he says that I'm safe, so that's good to know that he's laughing. If he thought that that was fun, he's really gonna think this next section is fun. <laughs> now, if you look at the screen, we're both gonna hit mode together once, and it should change it to street mode, which has kind of got a, a bunch of variations. You press it again for mode, it should be on S. S basically means sport mode. I call it hyperspace. If you've ever seen that scene during Star Wars when they're flying through the trees, that's what this is about to feel like, and I'm not joking. Um, like I said, every time people get on this, they laugh. Now, if you want to know, guys, how you charge this, you open up the lid, you go to any Harley dealership from here to California, you plug in, one hour, completely filled. Or you go under your seat, you lift open a plug, goes here and goes into your house, 11 hours. Why is that important? Because if you go over your limit, you're kind of in trouble. You get approximately 98 miles on the highway, and you get about 145 downtown and streets. It's cool to like have you just kind of like going through it. Awesome. So, so once again, I don't like to promote speed, but what I'm going to do <laughs> is I'm going to go ahead of my man, and I'm going to allow him to kind of give it a little test ride, and I'll meet him at the stop sign. Guys, stay tuned. Subscribe here if you haven't. <laughs> All right, here we go. The other thing that's been mentioned uh, on other channels, and I just noticed it as well, Whoa, yep, that takes off, man. So this might be my last video if I die. <laughs> I don't want to go too crazy just because uh, it's not a bike I'm familiar with, honestly. Yeah, that rips. <laughs> that totally rips. As I was starting to say, yeah, uh, when you're just sitting there at uh, idle, for lack of a better term, uh, you can feel like a little heartbeat on the engine. It just kind of like, it pops a little bit here and there, just to let you know that it's on, it's in gear, and it's ready to go. And uh, I, think, I think that's so you don't accidentally twist the throttle, throw yourself off, and, you know, uh, break your neck or something. But... Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of cool. It, it was a little weird to feel at first <laughs> because I thought that the throttle was sticking. Then I remembered that whole uh, conversation about the heartbeat when I've I've done the research on this before. But yeah, I mean, honestly, uh, at least 
if you've got a motorcycle license, like, head out to, like, a Harley dealership and at least come, like, test ride this thing. It's definitely fun. In the, in the sport mode, the way we are right now, uh, you will burn through that battery real quick. But it's worth it. It's fun. <laughs> Watch out, little squirrel. Don't turn around. All right, good squirrel. The, the suspension is really... It's, it's stiff, but in a good way. It's like I feel connected to the road. The front has uh, inverted forks, and the rear is that mono shock. Uh, a lot of this, like I said, it, my, my only thing right now is, you know, I'm just not familiar with the bike, so I don't want to go whipping it around uh, without getting fully comfortable with it. But overall, I mean, you can, you can see Rick there. He's just like, he's having a grand old time. That's, uh, that's got to be a killer job right there, just hanging out out front, convincing people to take a ride on a live wire, and then just go for bike rides. <laughs> that is, uh, that's, that is, I need that job. <laughs> I just need that job. I will say I do miss the sound. I, I like to hear the roar of the engine. But this is fun. This is straight up fun. I... I've probably said fun more times than we've seen street glides in this video. <laughs> if not, it's, uh, it's at least a close tie. <laughs> hey, Rick, my man, you, uh, you definitely um, you picked a good sort of ride to go on, man. This is, this is cool. I honestly thought we were just going to go like up the main road and back, and uh, then he'd ask me how I liked it, but this is a full, like, straight out, legit, like, test ride. We're, we're really going for it. And we're going for it in like, you know, just some cool scenery and some cool twists and turns. The, uh, the regenerative brake, it definitely, it kicks in like right when you let off the throttle. It's, uh, it just starts stopping you. Real quick, I'd like to ask you, how do you feel about the corners? I took you down that road so you can feel how it feels around corners. It feels really cool. Uh, my only thing is like, it's just, it's a new bike that I'm not 100% like, you know, right. comfortable on. So I'm still like kind of taking it sort of easy sure. just because of like the lean and stuff, but. So I ride a street glide. Yep. <laughs> street glide. I've done this all day long, so I'm kind of used to that feel. But yep. when you start to get comfortable with it, the reason I take people down the street is to let them see this bike handles. Unlike your, uh, you know, your foreign bikes, this thing is solid on the ground. You know, it sucks to the ground. It's 500 pounds. It's pretty heavy for the size. Of it. Yeah, I was actually uh, just talking about like how good the suspension is, especially compared to normal Harleys that have garbage suspension. Yeah. So, I think this is the beginning of something big for Harley. Let's leave it at that. I I would definitely like to see more from them uh, on in this whole market. I'll be uh, I'll be curious to see where they go with it. I am curious too. All right, on. It's like he reads my mind. Either that or the engine's so quiet he can hear me. <laughs> I don't think it's the latter of the two though. Because he's, he's definitely a distance ahead of me. But yeah, I mean this, this bike is very attached to the road. Even when I'm hitting, uh, hitting bumps, like I just hit a bunch. I mean, the suspension feels good. Especially when we're talking Harley. Because let's be honest, like Harley's idea of suspension is like, a crappy spring from like 1912 that they just they decided they nailed it the first time and that's that's the way they're gonna go with it forever and ever so this is this is awesome this is great I am I'm really happy with it I definitely hope that you know Harley continues in this sort of direction of like you know catching up with everyone else and and putting out stuff that's really competitive because I mean like I said, and the inverted fork is fantastic, the mono shock in the back, and I know that they're doing some of this stuff on some of the soft tails, but this really should just be like their standard. Um, it's, it's great, and there's no reason why they're not doing this yet. The, uh, the power that comes out of this is just phenomenal. It's, it's just all torque, it's all go, and uh, it's awesome. It, it would be sweet if it had a big roaring engine, <laughs> like I'm not going to lie, 
Uh, oh, real bikers. Oh. Only one street glide. Weird. If this bike was around the like 20 mark, like 20 grand instead of 30 grand, this would be something I would be more interested in. Um, it's it's really that price point that kills it. Uh, and and again, like there's there's little things which I'm sure could also be changed. Uh, like I said, like having having my weight on my wrist like that, uh, especially when I'm stopping. It's, it's not as comfortable as it could be. And then, um, it's, it's a little bike, but it's cool. I mean, that's what it's meant to be. So, the, the wrist thing definitely kind of sucks. Like, leaning forward, like, I, this would be fine if you're bombing around town, if you're bombing around the city, uh, very minimal highway sort of thing. I mean, all that speed and all that torque is fantastic, but... Honestly, you're, you're probably not going to get the opportunity to use it as much as you really want to. And then there's always, like, the, the problem of if you do get to use it all, you're also going to burn through your battery wicked quick. <laughs> like I was saying, you're, you're still going to have a fun time on this bike. Like, it definitely picks up. It definitely goes. Even in economy mode, it's it's crazy. So, it's, uh, it's cool. Like... Like I said, if you got a motorcycle license, if you're endorsed, like find a Harley dealership that's letting uh, letting you test drive these things, and definitely take at least take one out and try it out. It is fun. It is for sure fun. So hold on a second before we go anywhere. We're still on. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna get close to you for a second. <laughs> Am I gonna get knocked out? Nope. Nope. You are safe. I made it. <laughs> I'll let you guys make sure you subscribe. My name's Rick D. Sanctus. I also have a YouTube channel. To you find out more about what we're doing, that guy's too loud for me. <laughs> right back. Rick D. Out. Right back. <laughs> sound picked up here like I said I did move my mic around uh, trying to get away from emphysema man sound or Darth Vader but uh, yeah Rick was Rick was really informative uh, a lot of the stuff I was very familiar with I have looked into the live wires but it was really cool to have like Rick go through it all obviously you know he's he's probably spouted it off a, a million times taking out test rides and stuff so you know his his explanations were just way more fluid than probably what I would have offered you. And uh, Rick was a really cool guy. I will definitely put a link for his channel down below uh, with the rest of the 5,000 links I've, I've accumulated over this episode. Uh, you know, if, if you're in the New Hampshire area and you're anywhere next to Seacoast, definitely go see Rick and uh, have him let you take you for a ride. I know by the time this video comes out, it'll be a little bit colder than it is right now. Or maybe not. It's New England. You never know. We get like five summers before the snow shows up. So if, if it's kind of warm out, you've got your motorcycle endorsement, go see my man Rick over there. <laughs> Tell him I sent you over. And take, a, take the bike for a test ride. It's definitely worth the test ride, without a doubt. I hope you had a good time today. Once again, definitely click on those links below. Check out those other YouTubers. They're cool people. Uh, definitely say hi to my man Rick down there. Say hi to my man Respawn Rider down there. Say hi to all of them. <laughs> subscribe. And then, uh, you know, if you have not liked, subscribed, or shared this video, you should do that as well. And, uh, you know, if you, if you haven't had your fill yet, there's more videos. Like... What are you waiting for? Well, wait for this one to end. And then, after that, what are you waiting for? Click on the videos. <laughs> and until next time, guys, I will see you on the flip side.